look together through the Gospel according to St. Luke, the 15th chapter of the Gospel according to St. Luke. Beginning at the 15th verse.
said, Billy, you've been hit too many times. You took too many hits that last night. Anybody had been like that before? Somebody had to tell you, you took too many hits. You know what I'm saying? You've you, you been out there too long. You done scuffled too much. You done took too many hits. And so often times, there are folks that are close to us, uh, trying to help us, trying to direct us, keep us from taking too many hits. Yeah. And Billy said, no, said, uh, I got some more fights in me. His trainer, 50 Cent, said, look, we, we got some uh, a contract with HBO. We got three more fights. And if I said, no, Billy. Said, no, we, we can't do it. So, but they talked and talked. And finally, they had a, a promotion time where a big event where Billy was supposed to come out and speak. And they, they had noticed him, all of his, I gave him all his accolades, his belts and whatnot. But there were other fighters that wanted to shot at Billy. And one fighter said, Billy, when you going to give me a fight? And his wife said, come on, Billy. Don't, 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 Anger, could not control himself. He turned on the man, a fight ensued, and found a shot went off. And after the smoke had cleared, there was Billy's wife laying on the floor. People had covered him, covered with blood. Uh, they tried to save Billy's wife, but they couldn't save her. Uh, uh, she ended up dying in the hospital. Leaving Billy, y'all got time. Yes, so, leaving Billy with, with, with the little girl raised by himself. He, he couldn't take it to live his life without his wife, who had been there from the very beginning when it didn't have nothing. And now his attitude, his behavior cost him his wife, cost him his home. He ended up losing his home. Couldn't pay the rent, ended up trying to commit suicide. They took his daughter from him, put her in the home. And now he hits rock bottom. Why? Because of a mindset. Here, Billy had lost everything he had. Now he has hit rock bottom and finds himself in a mess. In a body. Sometimes attitude, sometimes our emotions get the best of us yes. and take us places where we ought not go, where we shouldn't be at. Right. You understand? Know uh, uh, our pride won't allow us to, to, to hold out. And, and can, you know, we don't want to uh, put our pride in our pocket. Pride will get you killed. Pride will take you away from your family. Pride will leave you broke. Pride will leave you unemployed. Pride will leave you homeless. Pride will leave you destitute. Pride is pride. Got in the way. And he found himself in the mess. How do you come back? He's going back and forth to court uh, to try to get the daughter, but they won't let him have her. She has no family to go. Look at that. No family to go to, no family to come and live with. How come? Because Billy and his wife was raised in foster homes. Uh, they didn't know who their parents was, and they fell in love in the foster home. And, and they came up together, and they stayed together, and they looked out for one another. But now, he, and produced a daughter. Now, 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 but now, the daughter, the wife is dead now. They call the village pride, anger, lack of discipline. And now the daughter has no family on either side to go because they came from dysfunction. Look at this picture, you know? And now he can't send her nowhere. Her uncle, her aunt, 
a nowhere. Yeah, because of his attitude, because of his behavior, he finds himself in a mess. What do you do when you find yourself in a mess and trying to come back from a mess, trying to get back? No fight trainers would handle it. Nobody would touch him. He was a hot head. You ever been like that? You done messed up so bad and been in so many messes. Nobody wants to deal with you. Your attitude keeps you in trouble. Because I've got folk that won't be around you. Finding himself in a mess. His daughter is not now even mad because she said, You got us into this. Mama said we needed to take care of you. Now she's gone. Who's going to take care of you now? Look at me. I don't even want to see you no more. Daughter. He's pleading. How do I get back from the mess? Y'all, y'all, y'all hear me? Oh, in the text here, Prodigal is almost like Billy Pope. I preached this message. Uh, uh, the prophets of many, many times, but they're always different. You know? So I've seen something out the, the, the film uh, had that could help all of us here if we pay attention. Yeah, yeah, this prodigal life parallel, Billy Hope's life. The prodigal was living in the lap of luxury. He had maids and servants running his bath for him. He had it made in the father's house. But because of his attitude, because of his mindset, Father, <coughs> give me the point. Y'all know the story? Separate mine from yours. You understand? He, 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 he wants to be the boss. Yeah. He wants to be in charge, but he uh, can't pay no bills. Y'all never seen folk like that. You know what I'm saying? Walk the tall shot, but can't buy groceries. You understand? Y'all never see folk like that. You know here, here, this, this man was, was like that here. And now he's talking about separate mind from you. Give me mind. And in those days, I asked the father before he was dead. Uh, 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 brother, it meant that he wished, I wish you were dead. I would, the attitude in which he had. Father said, no, okay. He had wisdom. He, he, he knew that sometimes some folks, you understand, you can't say nothing to you. Sometimes you got to let life happen to you. Sometimes you, you got to let them go and say, I'm okay. I can't say nothing to you. I got to let life happen to you. And see, God and life will talk to you in ways that mama and daddy or, or, or older folk may not ever be able to reach you. you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to experience some stuff out there. And the father was put up with him. So, okay. You understand? Uh, uh, the life has got to start talking to you. And everybody been there? You yeah. know, where, where life happened. You, you heard mama, you heard that, you heard hunting, you heard older folks try to advise you, but you weren't here. But life start talking to you. And sometimes when life starts talking, you might be in, end up in the hospital with your legs spinning and there, tubes running through you. When life starts to talk to you, you find yourself in a prison cell. When life starts to talk to you, you find yourself homeless and you burn all of your bridges behind you. When life begins to speak, you all right, you won't hear this, you won't hear no other way. Let me put you in a position where you might have. See, and when you find yourself on your back, you know there's no other way for you to look but up. Come on, you can find yourself on the back. And this is where Billy found himself. This is where the prodigal found himself once he got in the far country. Join himself, you know the text, join himself with a, a citizen of that country. Took on one of the lowest and demeaning jobs that the Jew could take. Feeding swine. You know what I'm saying? It's symbolic to how low you can go. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you couldn't get no floors in this here. Here he feeds the swine. I can see him now in the hot sun feeding them you know, the shrap and, and what have you. You know, from the, to the, the shrap cops and what have you. Feeding these swine. And maybe, maybe I, I can see.
see him now being so hot and sweat dripping from his brow and couldn't touch his face with his hand because the, the mud had dried up along with the slop in his hand. She had to take his teeth and wipe his brow, wipe the sweat out of his brow. I can see him now. And, so, and he, he looks around. See, see sometimes home kids will make you come to yourself. And sometimes God will design a home kid just for you to make you come to yourself. You know God has all kinds of home kids that he can design for his folk just to have you come to yourself. And here, this man here, uh, this man, 29, how many of my father's high servants have food yeah, yeah, yeah. enough and to spare? Yeah. And here I am, perish. He's looking, he's assessing his situation. Watch yeah. how he come back. Watch, 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 watch his mindset now. Oh, uh, I go back home. Uh, he said, my father said, Father, yeah, yeah. I'm no longer listening to this speech, you know. No longer worthy to be called this son. Yeah. Uh, in other words, you know, said, uh, make me a highest, treat me as a highest man, yeah. if you will. You know what I'm saying? That's humility, you know. He just don't become that, you know. Let me see this. And you may not think that uh, this is not good. I have it. Yep, with truth. I haven't been with this, I haven't been with that. But listen, I don't care where you are in life, you can take it down with spell. Just like that. Just you can you can you can touch every wrong going up the ladder. I don't care where you at. That don't want the ladder of success. You know what I'm saying? But but you can miss every one of them coming back down. You know what I'm don't don't think that you're on a high question, you can't come down and find yourself in a mess. Mm -hmm. I mean, you might be in a good marriage today. You know what I'm saying? But I've seen marriages dissolve so overnight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, yeah, it's just, just like that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's like you, you're walking on fragile eggshells. You don't know what's going to come or what's going to happen from one minute to the next. You know what I'm saying? I've seen folks that are, 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 are good friends. You know what I'm saying? But friendships uh, disintegrate just at an ill spoken yeah. word. You know what I'm saying? I've seen fellowships dissolve just because of a difference in philosophy or ideology. I've seen the best of friends turn into Hatfields and McCoy <laughs> over the, a little girl broken heart. You know what I'm saying? You, you can go on with just like that. You can find yourself in a mess. You understand? And, and then I, I know I'm looking at you. You may not have had a judge uh, since you and, and where you're restricted from. You understand? Certain freedoms where you're told when the lights got to go out. You're told when to get up. You may not have had that experience. You may not have had somebody have to subpoena you to the court. Or, or, or even indict the grand jury, indict you. You know what I'm saying? You may not have had the red pinstripes. You may not have had the red orange jumpsuits or brown clothes or green clothes. You know what I'm saying? And you, you, but, but all of us have been locked down, held down, disappointed, disgruntled, and discouraged at one time or another. We've been locked up. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I lock up and with fear. Locked up with fear. You know what I'm saying? Uh, low self-esteem, low living, yeah. uh, 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 pride, you know what I'm saying? All of those things can have you on lockdown. And it's time to come out. Yeah. You, 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 it, it's a mess yeah. that you got to intentionally come out. How do you come to the job? How do you come out the mess? I hear all of this. Yeah, I hear all this talking about being locked down. I hear all the pride. How do you come back? Watch this. Watch as he, he, he re retraces his steps. How many of my father's high servants have food enough to spare? Now, yeah, he's retracing his steps. You know what I'm saying? Now, now, 
he knows that he's got to go back home on, on, on a facing a, and fixing mission. He has that, he got to go back home and put his pride in his pocket. He, he got to go back home uh, uh, trusting that, that, that things are going to be all right. You understand? Know anyhow, you understand? Know because I, 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 I got to see. You understand? Know and, and, and see, you, 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 some folks don't want to try. You understand? Know some folks get stuck in the pig pig. You understand? Know don't want to try. You understand? Know Before you can shake the dust off your shoes. You understand and say, I give up. You understand? First, you got to get some dust on your feet to shut up. You understand? And if you don't ever start walking and start the journey out, you understand? You can't get the dust on your feet in all of the shape. But at least you can say, I tried. Get some dust on me. You say, I tried. I tried. I gave it some time. I tried. The other thing you need to know is that's just when you're making a comeback. You understand? Sometimes you got to go back with no guarantees. You understand? It's not a guarantee that folk are going to welcome you. It's not a guarantee that folk are going to forgive you. You understand? But you keep on walking in there. You understand? There's no guarantee. He went back with no guarantee. He didn't know whether or not the father was going to welcome him. The brothers was going to. He just kept on walking. Just kept you know what I'm and sometimes when you when you keep walking on this journey, there's some distractions, there's some stuff in the way, but you just got to keep on walking. You understand? Know I mean? you know, you know, so, so say some people will try to distract you. You got to just keep on walking. You understand? Know you know what I'm saying? Things will come, and then you pass them through the mountains. You know what I'm saying? You pass through some mountains that you ain't seen.
You understand? He, he thought that he was going to live a life of Dr. King life and have it his way. But he found out this. He thought that he was going to live a FedEx life, you understand? And found out that FedEx and friends don't always deliver on time. <laughs> Keep on going in the way. You understand? 
regardless of what go down, you know what I'm saying? Whatever I do, if I can get to the farthest house, if I can get there, things will be so much better. See, and he has to move from, from, from a demanding spirit, a, a humbling spirit, a forgiving spirit, an accepting spirit. I'm talking about coming back here. You can't come back like you all had the bag of chips. <laughs> or like, I just had a few bad bricks. I had, I just had like, I had it going on, but you know, I just had a run of bad luck. You know, yeah. so here yeah. I am. Yeah. Oh, no. You're coming back. And so now when it comes back in that spirit, see, God has already prepared a way for you. And the text says that while he was a long way off. Yeah, yeah. His father sees him and run. He doesn't even get a chance to, to get to the house before the father brought him. And falling on his neck. You know what and watch this here. Now, now, the text said, he said, he's rehearsing. Look at it. All the way to the father's. Father, and he rehearsed when I'm saying, Father, I'm no longer worthy to call your son. Make me a high servant. I'm no father, I'm no longer yeah, worthy to yeah. call your son. You understand? Know Make me a high servant because I'm no longer worthy. But when he got to the father, all he was, he wasn't able to even finish his speech. He said, Father, I'm no longer worthy. Have a set of prayer in the room. Pray in the prayer. Pray in the prayer. He never gets a chance to finish. Yeah. Uh -huh. 